Good morning, first grade Smarties, and happy Thursday. All right, today is our third and final video this week about comparing lengths with measuring. All right, and we might have some special guests. Grace, our prep. Oh, the star is here. Can you say hello, pizza guy? Okay, so. Today, we are going to compare lengths with measuring. Remember, we've been talking about shortest to tallest and shortest to longest. We can compare objects by their length from shortest to tallest using non-standard measurement tools. We're gonna to be using a marker today as a non-standard measuring tool, and we're gonna to have to do some deep thinking with some story problems. Come on over. All right. So let's read our special message. It says, we got this. It's time to measure. All right, so Miss Mason was thinking about school the other day when she was drawing things. So I have a paper clip, that's a paper clip, and a glue stick, gotta love glue sticks. All right, our first one says to draw an object that is taller than the glue stick. Okay, we're going to look at that one first again. Draw an object that is taller than the glue stick. So I'm gonna come over here. Now looking at my two objects, which one do we already know is going to be the shortest? Which one is the shortest? Hmm, turn to your neighbor, your family member, your pet, Lizard, tell them which one is going to be the shortest. The paper clip, right? So now I have to draw an object that is going to be taller than my glue stick. So I'm going to think of something I could draw that is taller than a glue stick. I've got it. I'm gonna draw a pencil pizza guy. Are you ready, pizza guy? Okay, here we go. So there's my eraser. And remember, it has to be taller, has to be taller than my glue stick. So I'm going to make my pencil <laughs> taller than my glue stick. Now I'm going to double check to make sure that I did everything. And friends, I will go back and color this in because first grade coloring is important. So when I'm measuring, I wanted to make sure they all started at the same place, right? So with my glue stick, I know that it is shorter than my pencil, right? I can compare lengths by looking and thinking about which one would take longer to measure, right? So now let's read the rest of our directions. It says circle the tallest object. Which one do we already know is the tallest? What did our directions ask us to do? It asked us to draw an object that would be the tallest. So which one is the tallest? Pizza guy, which one's the tallest? So I'm gonna circle the pencil pizza guy. You're so smart. Are you a first grade smarty pizza guy? So I circled my tallest object. All right, let's look at number two. Okay, we are comparing lengths with measuring. The next one says, now this one, we gotta read more than one time. I can already tell. The flower is shorter than the bush. The bush is shorter than the tree. Hmm. I'm gonna read that again. I want you to think which one I know is going to be my shortest. The flower is shorter than the bush. The bush is shorter than the tree. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking, I'm gonna think out loud right now. 
I'm thinking, I know I have three things I'm going to need to draw in my box. I heard the word bush two times in my story. So I'm going to draw a bush. I know that's going to go in the, I think that's going to go between the shortest and the tallest. It's gonna be in the middle. So I'm gonna draw a bush. It's a fancy looking bush, okay. I'm just gonna shade in a little bit here, okay? So there's my bush, and it says the flower is shorter than the bush. Now, when I draw my flower, I'm going to make sure I start at the same place. So I'm gonna draw a stem. I'm comparing lengths by making sure that my flower is not taller than my bush. So I want you to turn to your neighbor and give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if I compared correctly. Did I make my flower shorter than my bush? Okay, the last one said, so we know that the, sh sh the flower is shorter than the bush. The bush is shorter than the tree. So which one is going to be the tallest? The tree, right? So I'm gonna make sure that I'm starting at the same place as my other objects. And already my tree is taller than my bush. Okay, we have one more question. It says the flower is blank than the tree. Which word is going to go here? Shorter or taller? Turn to your neighbor, tell them what you think. If I'm looking at my flower and I compare it to my tree, I can see that my flower is shorter than the tree. All right, we have two more Give yourselves a kiss to the brain. You guys are so focused. All right. It says the bee is longer than the ant. The worm is longer than the bee. Which, which insect or bug did I hear more than one time? I heard the bee more than one time, right? So I'm going to draw my bee first. Okay, and I'm going to, and it's not going to be taller, it's going to be longer. So I'm gonna draw my B in the middle because I heard that the B is longer than the ant, but the worm is longer than the B. So excuse my drawing, I'm gonna try my personal best. <laughs> okay, and Miss Mason will go back in with Do they have antennas? We're gonna guess. All right, so I know that my B is longer than my ant. So is my ant going to be shorter or longer? It's gonna be shorter than my B, right? So I'm gonna draw my little ant right here. I'm gonna make sure it starts at the same place. Here's my little ant guy. And give him a smile. So, so there's Miss Mason's aunt. I'm gonna divide his body a little bit. There we go. It's my aunt. And then it says the worm is longer than the bee. So I'm gonna look at my bee. I'm gonna compare because I know that I'm going to have to make my worm longer. So when I'm comparing, I know that my worm is going to be longer and I made sure to start at the same place. Okay. So the bee is longer than the ant. The worm is longer than the bee. The ant is blank than the worm. So compare guys, look at which one, which word would I use? Would I use that the ant is shorter 
or the ant is longer than the worm. The ant would be shorter. Good job, first grade Smarties. All right, in our last one, we are going to use a non-standard measuring tool. It says, use a marker to compare the lengths of the shapes. Now I ran out of space. We are going to circle the shortest. Okay, so I have a marker right here and I'm going to start with my smiley face. So I'm gonna start at the top of my smiley face. Okay, so I still have some room with my marker. So I do not think that my, looking at it, I do not think that my smiley face is the shortest. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my rectangle. Oh, I can definitely tell that it's not the shortest because using my non-standard measuring tool, my rectangle is almost as tall as my marker. And I'm gonna start at the tippy top of my trapezoid here. And here we have it. Our shortest shape was the trapezoid. All right, guys. I hope that you have a great Thursday. Keep learning, keep comparing lengths with non-standard measuring tools and y'all are rock stars. Bye.